when it comes to the trauma, mm -hmm. how important is it that you detox the body? So you can't detox the body spiritually without doing it physically. We have to realize that mind, body, and spirit is interwoven. That's the reason why you literally can't access the third dimensional realm of density without the vehicle. That's the first thing we have to understand that all of these things, I'm not saying they're equal, they all play their role of this necessary in life for us to be able to experience this life in the third dimension so you have to cleanse all of them to have true healing that goes back to that biomarker or that signature i said that heals last and that is literally that that soul signature it seems like what i've been seeing through healing the spirit heals quick the body heals quick but that soul that impression on, on that personality is a signature there that takes generations to really really weed out trauma is everything like you have something called cytoimmunological systems where you can google this word it will pop up where certain thoughts or certain memories will actually trigger certain types of antigens and allergic reactions through the body you know we've seen uh certain tumors go down just for people you know being healed mentally and spiritually or being uh taken under hypnosis where they get hypnotized and you literally feed them placebo and you tell them you were healed you just give them basic affirmations and then you check them two months later and their tumor sizes have shrunk tremendously so showing you that you know those traumatic experiences sitting inside of the cells we have to remember that you can actually measure thought so if you can measure thought that means thought is a real thing it's actually a element and all elements in the body creates a blowback or what you would call metabolic waste so if trauma is an experience and experience is a thought or a memory and memory hold weight and it's considered an element then that means these things are acid forming and they have to get out of the body so if you never get rid of the traumatic experience or do your spiritual work or go through the cleansing rituals to get these things up out of the cells then it's going to lock and bind up in your cells and it's going to burn your tissues this is called living in metabolic acidosis and these things bring on energy blockages because what fire do fire sucks out oxygen remember oxygen or the deprived oxygen of the cell is what i call disease so i mean i think it's very very important that we work with our past lives get rid of past life trauma because a lot of the baggage we do be bringing into our reincarnation phase so we most definitely need to clean up our past lives i most definitely uh think we need to play with our inner child a lot of healing actually come from playing with your inner child yeah. a lot of healing come from laughter a lot of people don't know how laughter actually initiate and activate that nrf2 gene that helps the detoxification phase so you know be around people that makes you laugh be around people that increases dopamine in a good way not dopamine to get you addicted to foods but dopamine to have you addicted to an actual good healthy time all these things help you get rid of that traumatic experience so i mean trauma is crazy because trauma will harm the body and then you know trauma in a physical sense or people that get into you know car accidents and they still dealing with certain scar tissues we notice that a lot of memories get locked in the scar tissue so you know we created all types of salves and uh butters to help you you know get rid of that scar tissue and we notice when you start seeing that scar tissue go away and working with the thyroid or what you call the parathyroid because the parathyroid is in control of the connective tissue of the body and when you heal the thyroid up and you heal the scar tissue up we notice that people get rid of that stuff and they're able to forgive people that touched on them that was little. showing you that that that, that grudge was locked up within the scar tissue so we have to quit looking at our bodies like it's just a body no your body is spiritual your body is the most important thing look you living in it you live in your body the whole life your whole life you're in this vehicle that's how important it is i just think for us to truly truly know that that means we got we got to understand and we got to start studying our bodies more not only the the outside of our bodies but most definitely our inward parts because this is a toolbox and a utensil for us to experience reality from you know i did a, a lecture not too long ago and it was called the purpose of man and I, what i did was i went into nature and i meditated for three days and what i came up with was the purpose of man is to experience and that's the reason why we have hands to hold things to play with things that's what child do when a child is growing the moment they get into the crawling stage they get into everything what they do they take something and they taste it showing that your tongue is to taste things where you can download memories they eyes the eyes is to pull things through images for you can lock in memory everything is for you to rememberize that way when you transition you take these memories to your creator and then the creator can learn from its own creation yes and the yes. only way you can do that is by getting rid of the traumatic experience that's blocking you from experiencing I mean, facts. Shadow work. I think you need shadow work just as well as you need herbs and diet. I think all yes. of that is equal. Like, you can't do spiritual work 
without doing the actual physical diet and you can't do that without taking the purgatory poisonous herbs to help actually purge the body these all things come one in one just like you have mind body spirit and soul you have actual shadow work or what i call spiritual cleansing you have physical cleansing or what i call the sauna the herbs and all of that and then you actually have your mental cleansing or what i would call self-hypnosing and turning your brain back into that theta state where you can get back into your imagination and start doing your own affirmations and seeing yourself Healed. There was another scientific study done, ISIS, where uh, monks, they did monks and they did regular humans. It was in New York. Y'all look this up. The first one they did was working out. where People actually went to the gym and worked out. And then monks actually sat down into a meditation state. They did diaphragmatic deep breaths and they imagined themselves working out. Do you know that the monks had better bodies after six months than the people that was going to the gym every day? Based off of their mind? I've heard that. That's the first time I've heard that. That's crazy. It's the mind, though. So show me you that the mind is what governs and rules the body, and what governs and rules the body is the spirit. So I think we need to be tapping into that first because it's it's crazy. You'll change somebody's diet, you will heal them of a disease, but then you will let them back out to the wolves because you never change their mind. And, and I've been seeing that a lot. And that's why I teach preventive maintenance so much because that's a mind change. Let me love myself to not eat this candy bar. Let me love myself to put down the meat. Let me love myself enough to not get into this type of toxic relationship. Once you start changing your mind, your body gon' follow. That's why they say if it doesn't mind, it don't matter. Mind over matter. Matter is the body. Mind creates the matter. Yeah. And also, so spiritual cleansing, physical cleansing and mental cleansing should be all done simultaneously.